Okay, 1.2, exploring the validity of conjectures. Just reminding ourselves that a conjecture is a testable expression that is based on available evidence but is not yet proved. So what we're looking at right now is we're actually looking at some conjectures and we're going to decide if, we, if they are valid, if we believe them or not. So first of all, we're going to look at this figure right here. Um, what we want to know is we want to make a conjecture about the diagonal AB, so this length here, and the diagonal BC. So, oops, I am not drawn where I want here with my smart board. Let's move this out of the way. I'm looking at this spot right here. Okay, so the question here, well, the conjecture that you might make is that AB seems to be longer than BC. What we're going to do to test this conjecture, how we could test if our initial thought is we could actually take a ruler, and that's just what we're going to do, is we are going to take this ruler and we are going to measure. On my smart board here, we're going to measure the distance of BC. We're going to move it right up and we can see that, that is just about 5.3 centimeters. Now we're going to measure AB. Oh. And that is also just about 5.3. So that's how we check the validity of our conjecture. Our conjecture was that AB was longer when in fact we go to measure it we find them to be the same length. Here's another um, another brain teaser. Uh, make a conjecture about the circles in the center. So this circle right here compared to this circle right here, a conjecture you might make is that this first one is smaller than the second one. However, if we used a tool, we can see that the size of this circle is actually identical to the size of that circle. So the way we check that is in this case we used a compass to show that they had the same radius. Uh, another way we can look at a conjecture. A conjecture about all of these lines. This optical illusion seems like all of these lines are not straight. However, using a ruler we can check the validity. We can line it up. Oops. We can line this up and show that these lines are indeed straight. Even the most curved looking lines are straight. Let's try some of the horizontal lines. See if those are straight. Okay, and these same examples are in your textbook. So if, if you need to see it closer to believe it, take out your textbooks. So again, we check the validity of our conjecture, our testable hypothesis, our, our testable expression that's based on our evidence but not yet proven. We can test the validity with different tools. Oh, so the key idea here is that some conjectures initially seem to be valid but are shown not to be valid after more evidence is gathered. The best we can say about a conjecture reached through inductive reasoning is that there is evidence either to support or to deny it. A conjecture may be revised based on new evidence. So for instance here, our conjecture was that these lines were curved. Based on our new evidence, we would now say that these lines are straight, our new evidence that we got with our ruler here. Again, very important that you know about inductive reasoning conclusions based on patterns, based on evidence. Uh, there's no questions that you need to do to for this section, but you do need to understand that we can test the validity of our conjecture, and sometimes we make conjectures, and once we gather more evidence, we're going to change that conjecture.